So it's summertime here in Ohio, and one thing I find myself doing more than I do any other time of the year is hiking. Uh, whether we're at home or we're on the road, we almost always end up on a trail just like this one, maybe in the woods. And if I'm alone or I have my dog with me, my standard practice is to put in my Apple headphones and kind of zone out to a podcast, a book, or even some music. But the truth is, that's not all that safe. And today, I want to tell you about a product that solves this safety concern and maybe adds a little bit more enjoyment to your hikes. Alright, go ahead and ask me, why are headphones unsafe? Well, the truth is, they're not always unsafe, but they do always disconnect us from the world when other people are around, and it can sometimes be a hazard when we're in an environment where other people or vehicles or even animals are that we need to be aware of. One of the reasons I love my Apple headphones so much is that they have amazing noise cancellation. And the truth is, while that can be good on an airplane or a place where I can just zone out to the world, when you're on a trail or you're on a sidewalk next to a road, that can be a really dangerous thing. So a company called Knox Gear created this little Bluetooth speaker that clips on to your shirt, your backpack, that gives you personalized music while keeping you aware of what's going on around you, whether you're on a trail, sidewalk, or a road. And so for the last three weeks or so, I've been using this speaker in the real world on the trails with my family to see just how effective it is and to see if I would miss my headphones. And I think the results are gonna surprise you. All right, so let's go through some of the features and high points about the Knox Gear Bluetooth speaker. I think the first obvious place to start is the size. It's advertised everywhere that this is a 39 gram speaker. I can tell you it's incredibly light when it's clipped on your shirt. It doesn't tug that much. You really can't tell it's there. That's because it's so light. You can also see that it fits literally in the palm of your hand. It's so small that it can go about anywhere. And that's probably the main selling point for this speaker is that it is small and lightweight. You can clip it on something, a shirt, a pocket, a backpack, a jacket. Now, because of its size, one of the things I was most excited to test out or maybe most skeptical about was its boasted 15 hours of battery life. And truth be told, I have yet to put this on a charger because out of the box after two or even probably three weeks of use two three four times a week on my walks my morning walks with my dog my afternoon walks maybe with one of my boys i have yet to put this on a charger and still when i turn it on every single time i hear this knox gear 39g activated battery good connected battery good. Now, I don't exactly know what battery good means. It could mean it's 50%. Uh, it could mean it's 75%, but I'm nowhere near the end of this battery and I've been using it for a while now. So that tells you that this thing can actually last a good while in one charge. It probably will get 15 hours of battery life, like they say, because it's not powering a lot of complicated components, a digital screen, a giant speaker. It's a very simple product, very small speakers, very small package. So even though it doesn't have a huge battery in it, it's very efficient in the way it uses power. If you're finding this little speaker interesting and you wanna pick up one for yourself, I've left the links to the Amazon product page in the description below, and if you use those links, it helps the channel. Now, I can also tell you that I was skeptical that this would sound any good at all because the speaker is so small, but I believe the design is like sneaky genius because this speaker, I don't know if you can tell, is profiled back towards your face, even though you would clip it on here. So presumably it would be on the front of your chest going forward. The speaker actually bends back up towards your ear, towards your face. And if it's anywhere on the side, the center is probably the worst place for it because it's farthest from your ears, but on a backpack strap or in a pocket or even on the side of your chest, it's extremely well placed to get that sound to your ear without needing a lot of volume or a big speaker at all. And the sound quality was actually quite good 
but in my tests, I didn't find myself saying this is a tiny speaker with horrible sound. It sounds like a piece of paper. No, it sounded good enough for me to not complain. And I'm a musician. I'm a guy that has high quality headphones. Even music sounds decent out of this. And if you don't believe me, we'll test it right now. All right, I've positioned this thing kind of right in front of me here, but it's far enough from the mic where this is gonna give you a good idea of what it sounds like, hopefully. And the nice part is when you're done, you don't have to go back to your phone. You can use the buttons on this speaker. That's the thing I'm most excited about is that this gives you full control right on the front of the speaker. You've got a big button right in the middle that's play, pause, power on, power off. You don't have to go searching for it. I can find it just by putting my finger on my chest. I can find that power button. I can find that play button right back in business. Another really great thing about the Knox Gear speaker is that it allows me to keep my phone in my pocket. I'm not distracted by emails or texts because I'm not taking my phone out of my pocket to check the next song or adjust the volume or reconnect. It connects really easily. It stays connected. It's got start and stop, play, pause, skip, volume up and down, all the buttons I need right here. I don't start the whole process of touching my phone and then using my phone and being distracted from where I am because I'd much rather be in the moment, in the hike, in nature, where I am right now. And the final thing we need to talk about on the speaker, an important part of the design, and also the idea is the clip. Now there are two ways to put this on your person. You can use this clip, which has a little kind of nub on top that allows you to press down and that clip will come out and you can just snatch it right here on your shirt. Boom, you're done. It's in there. Um, my, a lot of my shirts have pockets on them. So I end up sticking it on a pocket, uh, but it also has a magnet. This is something I'm really familiar with because a lot of microphones that I use have this, but it's got a blue uh, magnet piece on the back, which just connects really strongly, I might add connects to the back of the speaker. You can kind of see it jump to it uh, and it will just jump right there on the back and it will go through your clothing. Pretty easy. The speaker's right here on my shirt and all I got to do when I'm ready to go is just hit that button. I am Iron Man. It doesn't flop around a lot because like I said, it's not that heavy. And that's the beauty of the design and the clippage is you can pretty much stick it anywhere on your person. It's still going to function the way it's supposed to, no matter where it's at. You got access to those buttons. The speaker is facing the general direction of your ears upward, and it's just going to be a pretty easy listening experience. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, then what are you doing? Because I put out videos like this two times a week, talk about great products and places to help you travel better. And I think they always are gonna bring value to your life. So it's free, it's easy. Go down there and do it right now. Now I got the speaker in black because I like things just to be inconspicuous in black. But the coolest thing about the speaker is that you can get silicone skins to give it a different look and to maybe keep you from losing it. So I got a couple skins here that I can show you. One that's a bright, bright green. I thought that was a good choice. And one that's more of like a black and blue, kind of like a black and blue zebra print. I don't know, we'll see here. Black and blue uh, or green. Let's stick green on here. All you do is slide these on the front, it looks like. They just come right over the top. Boom, pretty nice. And you got a silicone skin right here. Still have access to the microphone and the speaker up front does not affect the clip at all. So we've got green here and then we can take this off really quick and we can throw black and blue on. This kind of matches the, the black and blue motif of the speaker, I should say. Ooh, I really like that one. I think I'm probably gonna keep this one on here. And of course, you still have access to the USB-C charging port at the bottom. Very important when you are going to need to charge it, uh, that it's USB-C, so you don't really need to keep a cable around. I'm sure you already have a USB-C that you use for multiple things. You could just plug this right in. All right, so let's talk about one other problem that I believe the Knox Gear speaker will solve, and that is oversharing your music on the trail. Now, we've all been in Home Depot or Target or Walmart and seen that guy on the speakerphone making a fool of himself, having a conversation in a public place way too loudly. 
Well, I believe there are a lot of people that use larger Bluetooth speakers and do the exact same thing. It doesn't matter whether I'm on the golf course or the trail. When I pass somebody with a speaker, they're normally playing terrible music and they're normally playing it way too loud and there's no way to get away from it. I believe this solves a real world problem of making your music safe and personal. So while you are playing a speaker out loud versus wearing headphones, it's not the kind of speaker that's gonna broadcast your music a 100 yards ahead of you or even 10 feet ahead of you. It's really meant to target you or maybe the person standing next to you, make it easy for you to hear, but it doesn't bother other people on the trail. And what I've found out is that the play pause button is so big and convenient that when I'm getting ready to pass someone or I see someone coming, I can simply reach up, press it, turn my music off momentarily, wait till they pass, then turn it back on. So I'm not bothering anybody with my music, but I'm not closing myself off to the world with headphones. So at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves the question, is this little speaker worth $50? Does the problem it solve really make that big of a difference? And I believe the answer is yes, because I'm truly in the anti-headphone category now. I've kind of crossed over into that camp not long ago, even though I'm a hardcore Apple earbuds, AirPods wearer, I'm trying not to use them as much, especially in public places or on trails, because I want to be able to hear what's going on around me. I want to be able to not only keep myself from danger, but just appreciate what's going on around me a bit more, interact with people a little bit more. I think this is a good idea, not just for people who are hiking, but I think it's a great idea um, for kids, a way to keep headphones out of their ears, make them more conscious of how the sound that they're putting out into the world affects others. Maybe something that they need, need to just play at a lower level or something that they can manage on their own. I really like this idea and I know that my family and I are gonna be using this uh, on our hikes, on our travels. Uh, my boys are already asking, can we use this when we go disc golfing, clamp it onto their disc golf bags? Um, you know, it's just something that I think is a general good idea to get the headphones out of our ears more often, not just for safety, but enjoyment of life. And so for that reason, I think it's worth the investment. I think $50 is a small price to pay to change the way we interact with the world by taking those headphones out of our ears and the Knox Gear speaker might just be the way to do that. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. And I think you'll enjoy all the products and places we're gonna go here on this channel. Thanks for joining me in this episode of the Traveler Toolkit. My name is Joel, and I'll see you in the next video.